Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a simple but powerful guide on how to set up an SSH account and configure it on the HTTP Injector app for a secure and reliable internet connection. If you've been searching for a way to get faster speeds and a safer browsing experience, you're in the right place. And if you'd like to learn more about VPN hidden tricks, be sure to check out our blog. Before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. It really helps support the channel. Let's start with the very first step, creating your SSH account. Open your browser and search for the SSH SSSL website. From the search results, click on the official link to access the homepage. On the top right corner, you'll find the menu button. Tap on it to expand the options. From there, choose the SSH tunnel server list. A new page will load showing different server locations. Pick the location you prefer, and you'll be taken to the final account creation page. Now, enter your desired username and password, solve the reCAPTCHA, and click click the Create Now button. Within a few seconds, your SSH server account will be ready. Be sure to copy the host or IP address, username, and password for later use. Next, we need the latest version of the HTTP Injector app. Head over to the Google Play Store on your Android device, search for HTTP Injector, then download and install it. Once installed, launch the app. On the home screen of HTTP Injector, look for the small arrow icon at the top right corner and tap it to access the settings. Here, you'll see configuration options for tunnels and connection protocols. Keep the tunnel type as default, then check the box for SSH tunnel. If needed, you can also enable the custom payload option. Now, tap the gear icon to enter SSH settings. On this page, paste the SSH host you copied earlier. Enter the port number, usually 443, or whichever is provided in your server account. Then, type in your username and password. Once everything is correctly added, return to the home page. To add your valid SNI, tap the pencil icon, paste your SNI, and save the changes. At this point, all your data has been entered correctly. Just hit the Start button, and you'll be connected to a secure and stable web connection. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video!